You know, nothing says Christmas like a bright aluminum Christmas tree. <laughs> you know, we used to laugh at those things when I was growing up as a kid. We had, people had um, had those aluminum had trees that were just shiny aluminum. They had they were made to look like like pine trees. They had needles on them and everything that were aluminum. And then they had a light, like a floodlight, shining on them with a rotating a plastic disc that would rotate and had four different colors. So you'd have like a red the red tree, and then it would transition over to like a yellow tree, and maybe then a green tree, and then like a blue tree. Oh man, it was uh, the epitome of 1960s sort of, I don't know what. <laughs> um, I'm going to make me an aluminum Christmas tree today, but it ain't going to be one of those guys. It's going to be uh, a little bit different. We're going to take a pattern. I printed this, I made this pattern up. And uh, if you want the pattern, Check down in the description. I will put a link to it. You can download it for free. And you can actually download several of the models that I've done. Um, they're yours. Take them. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get this thing. I'm going to get it over to the bench and we're going to start ramming. So let's go ahead and get going here. All right, we're going to be, co we're going to be casting into the uh, cope, which is the upper part of the mold or the, the box, molding box. So I am basically just going to fill, this is my drag, uh, with with sand and then we'll set our pattern right on top of this so let me get this done and we'll uh, we'll get the other half done All right, we got a nice flat surface. Go ahead and uh, talc it up so nothing sticks to it. And here's our first pattern. Now, as I said, I'm going to cast this thing into the into the cope, so I've got to check my drag, and it does want to release that way. I've also got some holes here. Uh, drilled in so I can put screws in to pull it out. I've also got one that I can kind of tap it around. So we're going to just lay this guy on our our drag. And man, that's close. But I think we'll be okay. And we'll talc it up again. Make sure we get the tree covered. And I'm going to go ahead and just cover this with some new Petra Bond. I think it's a little bit stronger than the old stuff. I could be wrong, but my money, my Petra Bond. And one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to vent it. So I'm going to put a vent. I'm going to put a vent right there next to the, not on the actual point, but right next to the point. Get that held down. Now I'm going to put my sprue, I'm actually going to put the sprue way down here. Um, Maybe even a little further out. I'll put it out, put it down here. Um, I'm going to run. Now, well, there's the bottom of the tree. We'll put it up here. Run across, gate in. We'll run across the, uh, we'll run across the drag, and we'll gate in on the cope.
All right, let's see if we can't get this uh, guy to come out of here. We're going to get a little metal rod that I, I've tried to turn a little point on, hold it down in that little divot, and we're just going to tap it side to side. You can see it move a little bit there. Hopefully that means it's going to be good to come out. Got a couple of screws here. Let's see if we can't just lift this guy straight up and out of here. There it is. Pretty clean. I got some, uh, I don't want to blow it out too much just yet. Let's go ahead and cut our gates in. Uh, what to use, what to use, what to use. We'll go ahead and use a spoon. Come in here, and we'll come in here. Here's our drag. There's the this runner I cut in. So we're just going to put these guys will come just like that. Just turn around so I can set it on there. We lifted it up. Oh, and I lost. Look at that. Well, that's not going to be good. Can you see this? Right here, I lost. There they are. Fell off. Oh, well. We'll go ahead and cast it anyway. See what it looks like. This poured. Took it pretty quick. All right, well, let's see how we uh, we fared. I noticed that I remembered afterwards I didn't open up that vent. And I did hear it come out of there, but um, I don't know if we got metal all the way to the tip or not. Uh, let's see what we got. I'm going on there. I'm not sure what that little lump is. Let's see here. Yay! All the way. And I'm going to have to cut this slot out of here um, because you saw it broke out. But cool. Let me get it cleaned, cooled off and cleaned up. We'll take a look at it. Okay, before I get it cleaned up, before I cut it all apart, I just want to just want to show you what I did here um, because it's. I think it's important. I, I, I wanted first off the um, uh, <laughs> pouring. My pouring basin is going over a ridge, so it's got to have a step over this thing. You pour in here, the turbulence gets taken care of here. At least a lot of it does. It comes up in a nice smooth flow over the ridge and then comes down this tapered sprue into uh, my runner, which was in the, as you can see here, uh, all right, you can probably see that. The runner was down in the drag, so it was down low. The metal had to come across, metal had to come across here, and basically it filled up into these two gates that came in, they're coming into the bottom of the part. 
Now those two little gates, and actually this proof, I mean it filled pretty quick. I uh, it was I was pouring as quick as I could pour, or almost as quick as I pour probably, uh, and it filled this thing um, really well. I'm really happy that this thing actually did work because I forgot to cut a hole for it to bleed into. <sighs> My kingdom for a bandsaw. <laughs> I got to cut that much out of there, so we'll figure that out. But um, that's uh, that's it. Let me get the other half of this thing cast. We'll put it together, and I'll show you what I got. All right, here we go, pour number two. Ugh! I think I'm happy. I got solid metal there, but I should have, it pretty should be really thin. Let's get this thing pulled out of here. Take a look. <coughs> Nothing like bringing breathing toxic over here. Yeah, see that groove is most of the way through. Can you see that? Right there. Almost all the way through. Nice nice square cut. That would be a lot easier than what I've been doing <laughs> with this guy. I almost got it cut. I think I got it cut the right way, but we'll see. Cool them off, clean them up, show you the finished product. Well, there it is. All cleaned up. All pretty and shiny. <laughs> it's awesome. Slides together. Well, slides together about the same as that plastic one did. There we go. Comes apart for easy storage. You want to do that. Um, goes together. Sits on the table. Sits on the table just like that. Beautiful. It's <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> All right, that area is just something. If you wanted to do something for the holidays, a little Christmas tree for your for the middle of your table, a little table ornament. Um, have fun with it. It's I had fun making it. And uh, let's see. I say have a great day, but I'm going to also say something very politically incorrect here. A Merry Christmas. <laughs>